Hey, what's up everybody? Dobie Masters here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to transform regular night footage into a time-lapse night footage. And basically this is gonna be a tutorial on creating those light trails. So basically we have this piece of footage right here. It is, you know, boring, regular footage of a highway, just some cars coming down, nothing too special about it. We're gonna be turning it into this footage right here, which looks like a time-lapse with some light, uh, light streams and light streaks right here. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Let's get started. First thing we need to do is, as always, create ourselves a sequence and then drag in whatever footage we're going to be using. You probably want some footage with uh, some definitive lights on them. That's going to be the best way to create light streaks. It doesn't have to be this zoomed in. It doesn't have to be this sort of form. But the light, the points of light are going to be important to creating the light streams. Next, we're going to want to go over here into the effects. Go down to effects. And then we're going to want to search for an effect called echo. So that's going to be under video effects time, and then echo right here. We're going to click on that and drag it onto our footage. We're then going to go up to effect controls up here in the top left and scroll down until we find echo. So what does echo do? Well, it echoes the footage multiple times. So for example, let's say we bring this up to this many echoes. You'll see that it starts off normal and then every so often, this is actually really short. Let's make this uh, like one second. So you'll see that every so often it adds a second one in like that. So it's echoing the footage over and over and over again. Now, if we change this from add, which is going to make this just go into a white blob and do something like maximum, what it's going to do is it's going to grab the max uh, light from each one of those echoes and add those in. So it's never going to actually increase the overall exposure. So now whenever we go through this, you'll notice that it does exactly the same thing, except we don't get that light burst. And you'll notice we start getting that light stream that we had uh, in the, the example there. But it's not, you know, it's not the best right now. So let's go ahead and increase the amount of echoes. Now, understand the more echoes you add, the more and more this is going to become processor intensive. So if we go up to something like 23 right here, it's going to start getting very processor intensive right here near the end. So you might have to render this out to view it. Uh, you can do that by clicking the enter key. It'll start rendering the frames, but just keep that in mind. So what we want to do is we want to create that actual blur, that, that light blur that we had at the beginning. To do that, we need to bring this down, or I guess up. We need to bring it closer to zero. Typing it in is probably easier here. We're going to bring it to something like 0.0 or 0, 0.0, maybe 5, uh, right like so. And so now you'll notice that we've started to get the effect built right here. But there is still a little bit of latency right in there. You can see there's still those, it looks like instances instead of one light. So we just want to bring this down a little bit more, maybe 0.04. Let's go with 3. 0.03. And now we definitely have streaks of light here. The reason I went to the positive is because it's going to give us the ability to use the front of the clip. Um, where if we went to the negative, we'll have what we had at the very beginning where we have to wait every single instance for it to actually start working. So here it just gives us the ability to start right at the beginning and see the light trails at the beginning. If we reverse this to negative, it would almost look like you're going into light speed where they would start normal and then the lights would draw out and then they'd all move. This just allows us to start right off the bat with these light streaks. So if we want to make the light streaks longer, right now it just looks a little bit blurred, we increase the number of echoes. Again, higher you get, the more and more processing power this is going to take. But now we can literally just type in a number and make these as long as we want. I could go up to something incredible, which is going to 250 right here. And you'll notice that it is going to take a little while to render, but we get those really extreme um, light streaks here. Now if we go forward one frame, we can kind of view what this would look like. I can try to play it, but it'll probably stop after three or four frames. So yeah, basically five frames is where it stopped. But you get those really neat light streaks, which, you know, maybe that's something you want to do. Let's not go 150, but let's go kind of extreme. Let's go 125 here. And now we have some really long light streaks. So the next thing we want to do to make it look like that time lapse is we want to speed it up, make it a time lapse. So we're going to right click on the footage right here. We're going to go to speed and duration. And then we're just going to bring this up to something extreme. Um, let's try to bring this down to about maybe six seconds. So we'll type six right there, and you'll notice it's going to adjust the speed up to 393. Maybe we can round that off just to 400%. Click OK. So now it's going to bring this all the way down right like so. And again, we're not going to be able to see the playback. 
very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the enter key and we're going to let this render out. And so there we have it. Now it is rendering out and now we have this time lapse sort of effect going and it's actually looking pretty good right here. Maybe we want to increase the speed just a little bit more. Uh, it's still looking a little bit slow and also you'll notice right here at the very end, make sure not to include this in. You see where the the light is going to start collapsing right about here and that's because we went positive instead of negative. So we have the beginning of the clip but the echoes will start collapsing here right at the end until it gets to the very end where it'll just be the one clip. So let's go ahead and just try to speed it up a little bit more right here. So we're going to just going to go here. We're going to go and make it maybe like four seconds, click OK, and then we'll just render that out again. And there we have it. Now we have our finished footage right here, and it looks pretty good as a time lapse. Now you can increase, decrease the speed. It's all up to you. But that is the general basics of how you get this to work is you speed up the footage and then you add that echo to add in that light trail right there. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go and them in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe related products. And until next time guys, see ya.